Hallie, a difficult loss for Manitoba here at the National Championship. How do you think your team played overall? Um, well, it's definitely a tough pill to swallow right now, but I'm so incredibly proud of my team. I mean, we had a great group of girls this year, and like to make it to the finals, like that's a first for Manitoba, and I couldn't be happier with how we performed this week. Yes, as you said, first time for Manitoba in a medal game, let alone the gold medal game, quite an accomplishment. What, what made that happen this week? Um, it was definitely... Uh, our coaching staff kind of uh, pushing us through like shift by shift, game by game. We didn't get too far ahead of ourselves when we were down. Like everyone, like we were a uh, really close knit group. Like we were able to pick each other back up again and battle through everything. So as a captain, what, what do you tell your teammates after a game like this? Um, really, it's just, you know, be proud of what we've accomplished. And like, you know, this is something obviously that's never been done before. So, I mean, it was an amazing week and like I just want them to go home with no regrets. And it's an amazing accomplishment, Hallie. Congratulations on a great week of hockey. Thank you. Ashley, a difficult 4-2 loss for Manitoba in the gold medal game, but still an amazing week for your team. How do you feel your team did today? You know what, I think the girls worked as hard as they possibly could. I think some of the energy and the atmosphere in the first period got the best of us a little bit, but once we settled down, Personally, as a coaching staff, we feel that we are the better team in the second and third period. But they bring it every time they step on the ice. They're very well coached. And uh, we knew it was going to be a battle and a, a bit of a bloodbath there. And, you know, we just kept trying to push, 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 push and got away from the simple things sometimes. And we had some really good scoring opportunities that we didn't capitalize on. And I think we'll be playing in the back of our minds for a while. Still an amazing accomplishment for Manitoba to make it to the gold medal game um, at this national championship. What did Manitoba do right this week to get there? Uh, personally, the girls really bought in and they really trusted each other and they're really starting to believe in themselves. Um, you know, everyone sees us as an underdog. Every year we're, we're the surprise, the surprise, and we just kept telling them that there's no surprise. We knew they were going to get this far and as long as they worked hard as a group and as Jen Barra would say, be a good teammates, um, they knew we'd get here and that's exactly what happened. We came through as a family and we obviously wanted gold, but we'll take home silver. That's Silver is a pretty nice color, so yeah. congratulations on a great week of hockey. Yeah, thank you very much. So Krista, huge win for Ontario Blue, winning the gold medal at this year's Under-18 National Championship. Tell me how it feels. Uh, it feels unbelievable. Coming into this, we were the underdogs, and to be able to pull out the victory and be national champions, just undescribable. So tell me how this game unfolded, starting with period one. Uh, we actually didn't come out how we wanted to. They got the first goal, but... We had faith in our team and in each other and we regrouped in our dressing rooms and we were able to battle back and take the 3-2 victory. And the game got even more exciting as we went on. Tell me about the second and third. Yeah, it was definitely a close contest. Uh, Manitoba is a great coach team. It was a battle right to the end, but we were able to pull out the win. So what was running through your mind when you saw Haley's game-winning goal go in that net? Uh, it was just unbelievable. I was actually on the ice with her, and when I saw it cross the line, I was ecstatic. I would think I was probably the first one to her, but it felt great. We knew the game wasn't over, though, and we just kept going. So, how is Ontario Blue going to celebrate tonight? Uh, probably no sleep. We actually have an early flight tomorrow, so we'll be up all night partying. Well, congratulations, Krista, on a gold medal win here at this year's national championship. Thank you very much. Haley, a 4-2 win for Ontario Blue to win the gold medal here in Dawson Creek. How does it feel? Uh, it's just, it means the world to us and to our team and to myself personally being uh, my first nationals and to be on Team Blue to be the underdogs, it just makes it even more wonderful. And you scored that game-winning goal. Tell me how that happened on the ice. Uh, well, the puck was fluttering and I went for a pinch and I just tried to get the puck to the net and it fluttered in, so. How did it feel to have that gold medal put around your neck today? Like I said, it means the world. It's one of my dreams come true, and next year, let's try and do it again. And what does this mean for Ontario Blue to win this gold medal at Nationals? Um, it feels really good just because we came in as the underdogs, and no one really expected us to win. Um, so as we just kept winning and winning and winning, it just we got even more motivated, and we came up with a win today. So how are you going to celebrate? Um, I'm not sure yet. We'll have to see. We're a little. Uh, we're gonna yell, obviously, in the room and stuff. But uh, we'll have to see how it goes. And uh, your experience overall in Dawson Creek this week. How has that been? It's been amazing. You know, like I said, being my first nationals, I didn't know what to expect with the rink and the atmosphere and the level of play. But it's everything that I dreamed of, and I loved it. Thanks very much, Haley. Congratulations. Thank you very much. So Brady, a 4-2 win for Ontario Blue to win the gold medal here at nationals. Tell me, as a coach, how that feels. You know what, I'm just so proud of the girls. Um, 
we had a goal and, and the goal was to come here and win a championship. I'm just happy they were able to do it. We did face some adversity throughout the week and, uh, you know, they didn't stop with that adversity. They, they uh, pushed through and, and overcame it. Coming into a gold medal game like this, what do you tell them in the dressing room? How do you prepare them? You know, every, every kid dreams and, and, and wants to be in this situation. We just told them to relax, have fun and play hockey. You know, and they all have skills and attributes that are going to help the team. And, and we, like I said, we wanted to, to get them to give that extra degree. We talked a little bit about the 212 degrees, and, and we asked them to give that. And uh, we asked each in individual player to give five minutes a period. So 15 minutes in a 60-minute hockey game is not a lot to ask. And, uh, and they did it today. From your eyes on the bench, how did the game unfold? Manitoba took it to us in the first period. They're, they're extremely skilled from their top line to their fourth line. Uh, their goaltenders are strong, their defense are strong, and th their transition game definitely got us back on our heels in, in the first period, but uh, we were able to come bounce back a little bit in the second period, kill a few key, key penalties, and, and get, a, get a timely goal. Just finishing up celebrations here on the ice, what are you going to say to your team when you walk into that dressing room? Well, I have about 10 seconds to think of that on my walk there. Uh, like I said, I'm just so proud of them. Um, I thank them for believing in, in us and, and, and what we did uh, as a staff and as a team. And uh, they deserved it. They worked uh, their heart out to, to, to get here and to win it. Thanks very much, Brady, and congratulations. Thanks a lot.